Hi, my name is Joelle, and I'm one of the co-founders of WIN, Women's Health Information League. Along with my other two co-founders, Adina and Ray, we were able to create a 3D animated video game that generates a maze and allows an avatar to roam throughout it. It basically simulates the struggles that women have to face in order to find healthcare centers across the globe. In the game, you tackle obstacles that represent the scenarios that women face in reality. We also have a website that creates a safe space by bringing awareness and generating extra information that women can read and understand to understand this problem that people have to face every single day. Now you'll see somebody playing the game WIM, a 3D animated game created using Blender. You'll watch as a white cube attempts to navigate through a maze, and during this time, the cube will encounter many obstacles. These obstacles will represent the obstacles real women face in an attempt to obtain the sexual health care that they need. To move around, the player will use the forward arrow key. The left and right arrow keys will allow the player to turn. The player will press buttons such as P and N in order to move to the next portion of the game. This cube has reached an obstacle. In this case, the obstacle represents a crisis pregnancy center. The game will provide information to the player as to what a crisis pregnancy center is, as well as the many problems that can arise for women visiting crisis pregnancy centers. These crisis pregnancy centers have been reported as having provided inaccurate sexual health information and to having misled patients as to their pregnancy statuses in order to influence what decisions their patients make. At the end of the game, the player will encounter the Women's Health Center. This screen is the win screen, and it allows players to understand that they've finally completed their journey and made it through the maze to obtain the sexual health care that they need. However, it's important for players to understand that women do not always reach this end goal. We created a website to accompany our game. This website contains a section called Barriers Real Women Face. This section adds to the examples given in the video of obstacles that women face when attempting to go to sexual health centers and gain access to them. Some of the obstacles this section describes are inaccurate information, financial barriers, legal barriers, unsafe abortion clinics, and crisis pregnancy centers. Our website is a safe space that gives insight on the difficulties that women face in finding sexual health centers and it helps them understand their own sexual health and also how they can help themselves and other women attain the sexual health that they need by um, enacting, helping to push um, attempts to enact reform. We hope to host the game itself on the website and to improve the graphics in the future. Additionally, we hope to inspire our users not only to learn more about their own sexual health needs, but to take action against the obstacles that are preventing other women from pursuing the sexual health care that they need. Thank you.